As we go on the air at four, we are following major breaking news. A chain reaction accident has shut down both directions of Interstate 55 in central Illinois. It's massive and involves about 20 commercial vehicles and another 40 to 60 passenger vehicles. Again, both directions of the interstate south of Divernon and just north of Farmersville are shut down. We're talking about mile marker 76. This crash happened just before 11 and unlike winter crashes caused by ice or snow. This one was caused by high winds and extensive blowing dust from freshly plowed farm fields. Police say that dust brought the visibility down to almost zero. Thanks for being here at four. I'm Kay Quinn. Illinois State Police held a news conference in the last hour to update us on the crash. Five on your side's Mercedes McKay joins us now from near Divernon, Illinois with more on what they said. Mercedes. Okay, we are along a service road next to Interstate 55. Where we are right now, this is as close to the crash scene as we could get. We're actually near mile marker 80, which is near the end of the crash scene. I'm going to step aside here so you can see those IDOT trucks behind me. They are redirecting traffic, and I think you can tell by our live shot right now just how strong these winds are. It was actually difficult for our photographer, Tony Chambers, to even open and close the doors here. So the combination of winds, loose topsoil and freshly plowed fields is what police believe caused the initial dust storm. Once that started, drivers were heading into low visibility. Police say the first crash that caused the chain reaction was going northbound and it happened just before 11 near mile marker 76. 20 commercial vehicles and between 40 to 60 passenger cars were involved. Two semi trucks also caught fire from the crash. More than 30 people were sent to the hospital with injuries. There are also reports of multiple fatalities, but police couldn't give us an exact number yet. Illinois State Police said the conditions have to be just right to have a situation like this one. The excessive winds and then the, the loose dirt on top of the on top of the farm fields and depending on which way the wind direction is blowing and things like that to cause near, if you will, extreme low visibility like a whiteout condition, but a brownout condition due to the fact that it's dirt blowing across the roadway. Has it happened before in Illinois? The answer is yes, um, but it's, it's not something that is extremely common and nothing in my 24 year career that I can recall having something as severe as this. There were multiple agencies from fire to police involved in this. Now, the police are still working to clear that crash scene on I-55. That's why Illinois State Police tell us it probably won't be open until tomorrow afternoon. They're asking drivers to stay clear of this area at this time. Again, still really dangerous winds out here, Kay. As you can tell by our live shot right now, there will be another press conference at 430, where we'll have more information for you at 5. Live in Divernon, Mercedes McKay, 5 on your side. Frightening situation there. Thank you so much.